Welcome to today's video. It's a very exciting video for me. I got a PR box. It doesn't happen too often and I have never, ever received anything like this. Let me just show you. I've unpacked everything, but this is all, all the boxes. Look at that. That's right, Surat. Surat Beauty. I reached out and they said we'd be happy to send you some things and I am just delighted and so grateful and in case somebody from Surat sees this video, thank you so, so much. They sent me a lot and we're going to put it on the face and they sent me many things that I don't already have. I, I don't know if I should just tell you everything or we just go ahead and do the face. I will say this, I got two highlighters, one warm and one cool. I have two of the liquid blushes, two of the powder blushes, one cool and one warm. And several of them I already own, but there's one that is new to me. They sent me this foundation. Oh, this is not the foundation. They sent me this spray, a uh, finishing spray, or just, you know, helping yourself out. They also sent me a primer and a foundation. And this is in a stick. It reminds me of the one that by Terry did several years ago, which I really enjoy, but they don't have really good colors. They don't have a color from me. I got some eyeshadows. I got some liners. I have lip products, and I will be doing some swatches of the lip products to help you figure it out. And I also have a discount code for you. So they're generous to me, and they're being generous to you. It is all in the description box down below and you will get 15% off with that. So let's just get started. I'm going to do cool. I put on my little Gap lilac shirt. If you don't shop at Gap for your long sleeve shirts, t-shirts, I don't know what you're doing. They're just wonderful. So this is the Surreal Skin Foundation Wand and I am in the color four. It's the same color I use for the dew drops. And I'm not going to do the primer because I am wearing my Tatcha sunscreen and there's a lot of dimethicones in there. And I didn't want to take any chances that they wouldn't like each other. And because of the dimethicones, it's kind of a nice primer as well. So I'm going to skip the primer this time around, but we'll definitely be exploring it another time. And brush is already built in, so you just kind of click it until you see See so yeah, how there's a little bit coming out, and it's not much, but I kind of want to dot around and not risk getting too much in one place. And I'm just going to use this brush. It's interesting, this brush, it, it's not very big, but because of that, you can get around the nose. I always have redness there, so I definitely want to get something there and go around the mouth really nicely. And this is a very light application and I'm going to do another click. Because now we're in the red zone, the danger zone. And I, if I already haven't said how grateful and lucky I feel for getting PR from a company like Surat, let me just say it again. So Troy Surratt, I don't know that much, but he's a professional makeup artist who worked with Kevin Aquan. I'm guessing he might have been his assistant, uh, which is not a bad way to go. You know, Lisa Eldred started as an assistant. Uh, the big makeup artists do. I mean, now they just start on Instagram, but both Lisa Eldridge and Charlotte Tilbury work for Mary Greenwell. And it's funny, I just saw a video the other day where Gucci Westman was saying that when she came to the UK with her line, Mary Greenwell came up and supported. It's so, nice, you know, she seems like a really great person. But Kevin Aquan, let's go into that. A legend. <laughs> He's just a legend. If you were like me and you've always been into beauty and makeup and that kind of stuff, you probably own one or two of his books. I just have the first one. I think it was Making Faces. That's the one I have. I'm not sure if it was the first one. And I think I got too much on my forehead and not enough on the rest. 
So I'm going to go in with this BK Beauty and just kind of stretch this out. Anyway, he worked for a very important makeup artist. I would say one of the most important. Way Prandy was also incredibly important. People don't really talk about him because it was, you know, a while ago. But in the 70s, he was quite big. And I think Kevin Kwan was quite big a bit after that. I'm going to add to the cheeks. Now one thing I didn't get was a concealer, so I'm going to use my own concealer. Anyway, he worked for Kevin Aquan until Kevin Aquan was taken away from us. And I'm not really sure when he started Surat, but I know that it's Japanese technology. And the other day I said, when I was doing my video for the Beautylish event, I said it's a slurry. It's a flurry. Now a flurry is something you get at McDonald's. It's a slurry. And I think what a slurry is, I didn't look it up, but my impression is that a slurry is incredibly thin layers of product, which makes it so beautiful to pick up and so beautiful to blend out. And I think his blushes are the best. I think I have a little more left in here, so I'm just thinking, is there something I wanna do? It looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. I'm going to pull you in. You know, maybe with the remnants, I'll just go down my neck a little bit. It's a little yellow for me, but it's not terrible. And especially since I'm pretty red today from my morning program. And I'm just going very lightly with this brush, but it is bigger and easy to use. So, so pretty. Before we powder down, I would say I definitely need it. Let's go on with liquid blush. They sent me two. They sent me Parfait, which I already have, and they sent me Bar Papa, which I don't have. And Bar Papa, I do have in a powder, and they sent me that in powder as well. You twist up, and you see just a teeny is coming them out. That's all you want. And you can see this color is just on trend with what people are liking right now, that very cool pink that I think was started maybe a year ago, two years ago with the Dior blush, and then Persona came out with one, and it's a, it's a thing right now. So I thought we would go with the thing. So you can either dot this on your cheeks or put it on your hand. You can work with your fingers or with your brush. I'm just gonna do fingers. And this will continue to release product, so don't just think, oh, that's not enough, and keep on going, because it's continuing to deliver some, and I haven't had to push any up again. Now, I kind of want to add some. I have a lot of redness today, so I should probably do something with my eyelids to calm those down, do a little concealer there, but you don't have to. <laughs> You know what I mean? You can just put some blush there and call it a day. And I just think the skin looks so darn pretty. <clears throat> you know, I was talking to Tamara on the phone the other day, and I said, you know, you just know when you have the right foundation on. You don't have to analyze it or think about it. it you just know, oh, <laughs> it's beautiful. And for me, the analyzing comes in when I'm thinking, why is this working on me? And I can really go there because I am a Virgo, but I don't want to go there, you know what I mean? I just want it to work. And this is beautiful. Once I powder it, gorgeous. Highlighters, Rose de Monte and Dior. These are stunning. When I swatched these last night, I was shocked. It was like butter, oh my, oh my God don't even need to blend them. They're so beautiful formula-wise. This is the rose. Look at that. I usually don't like anything with the word rose in it when it comes to highlighters, but I think this is the one I'm going to do because it's not too pink, even though it, it does have a pink hue here. And this is the Dior. I'm not sure how to say it. D apostrophe O-R, which I think something like Sun kiss. Look at that. I put a lot more of this on my hand. And it's just such a beautiful formula. So it depends on your skin tone. And you can see, once you 
We'll work it in. It's not quite as loud, but I think I'm going to do this one. So I think I'm just going to pick it up with my finger. I'm afraid it might be a little too much if I just go straight wand to face. I feel like, oops, pretty. I feel like I've been a little bit of all over the place because I'm putting on makeup and trying to talk at the same time. But anyway, he created this line with Japanese technology and I think it's been out for about 10 years. I'm not sure, I didn't research that. And I think their blushes are just insanely beautiful. And when I look at them, I absolutely see this is a makeup artist line because I can imagine what his kit looks like, you know? I can imagine he just brings this palette of all his colors to his jobs. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just pulls. I know Lisa Eldridge pulls. And there it is. It's like a patchwork of all these insanely beautiful colors. A lot of them are a little bit unusual, which I really like. Now, let's go on with eyeshadows. I haven't taken the stickers off. So, uh, this is the color. If I don't have my finger there, they'll all fall out. This one I know is maroon because I actually have this one. And you know what? I'll list them in the box below. So just take a screenshot, right? And I will list in the box below. Oh. <laughs> this is not happening. This is Ingenue. Corsage. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Zydeline. Look at that. That just has my name all over it for one and done. But I want to do at least two shades. So I think I'm going to go on with Corsage. It looks like it's a soft matte color. I'm going to go with my Chikohoto. This is a squirrel. Oh, it picks up like a dream. I'll give it all over my unprimed and very red eyes. And the colors that they sent, I feel, are perfect for spraying. It's kind of a light wash of color. They may look different on you because I have so much redness right now. This is a great go-to everyday all over the lid color for me. I just cleaned off the brush and I'm going to go in with this, which has a little bit of a shimmer. And I'm just going to do a light wash, just to bring some light into that area. And then wipe it clean and make sure there are no edges. Hard to have edges with this formula though. Keeping it simple on the eyes today. We're going to line and everything, but I want to go in with brows. This is so interesting. I can't remember how it came. This is how it came. And then you just put it in there and twist for it to come out. So be sure to untwist when you put it away, otherwise you might break. It reminds me a lot of the Dior, but this has a weight to it that makes it really interesting to hold. It's not super light, like you can't feel it in your hand. It's not heavy, but there's a weightedness to it that I think I think was well thought out. And I think on some people, if you're younger and you're more taut in this area, you can get brow strokes. But for me, I'd have to kind of pull everything quite tight. So I'm just going to go in. I am doing strokes, but they're not going to come out like brow strokes. And this is the color brunette. And it's going over my gray really nicely, too works very, very nicely. I like this. I like this a lot. I also got the Smoky Eye Wand, and I didn't read about these, you guys, so I don't know if I'm going to use them correctly. And this is the Light Wand. And initially I thought, oh, it's something for right in here. But I think, actually, it's for the lower lash line. I'm editing. Coming from the future, I am editing, and I thought, I have to shoot this. This is something that I missed. So you take this off, and this is what you do the lining with. I'm twisting right down here at the bottom, right? However, in the center is actually the light. So this is what you put in the corner for a little bit of light. And I used this yesterday 
This is what the tip looks like. And you just twirl that up. It is mechanical. And when I used it, I kind of held my lid taut. So I'm going really lightly since I'm not doing that. It kind of feels like it's a coal in a wand. The same thing with the smoky eye batten, which I say wand. This is the coal part, if you will. But right in the center, you untwist, and this is your smudger. And there's powder here. So this smudger isn't black, it's actually picking up the color, which is actually a dark brown. And you could use this by itself, which I just did, to see what was going on, or you use this to powder so it doesn't transfer, which you'll see in the video I did on my own. I, I figured I needed something like that. Now, back to the rest of the video. And then, I'm gonna smudge it out a little bit. I don't think this is intended to give you a sharp line to imitate a liquid liner. I mean, they do call it smoky, right? I think that's what the intention is. And same thing. These are really kind of soft. So I think there might be a learning curve for this. But I like the look that I'm getting. Oh, I like it a little better on this. So this one, I think I smudged out a little too much, but this is just enough. Mm, let me see if I can make them look the same. I doubt it. But I'm just gonna go right by the lash line again. And then just use the heat on my finger for it to melt into place. Now I found because these are so soft, they absolutely, if you're hooded, they'll transfer. So I'm just going to set it, and I don't have a color from them dark enough, so I'm just going in with this Sicily. It's a taupey kind of color. You can see right there, it's not uh, dark, 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 but I'm thinking that if I just set it, it may not transfer. We'll see. The Tom Ford Concealer. I am going to go in with this, but I feel, for me, I need to investigate this kind of thing. I know on some people it works beautifully to make your eyes look larger, but I, I'm really not sure if it needs to have a shadow on the other side of it. Like, do I need to do a shadow under my eye to make it work? Yeah, I'm just not sure if this is a technique that works with my particular shape. I do know that I need to powder, so we're going to go on with my By Terry powder. Gracie's crate is right next to me. I, I moved it, and she's, she, I don't know if you can hear her. I love that. It just, to me, it's, I'm so exhausted, and so at peace with life. I'm gonna lay here and snore. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just powdering the center of the face to take the sheen down a little bit. See, it's all coming together. I'm sure at one point you were thinking, girl, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a makeup artist, but I love to play. I'm gonna go on with the mascara, and I like this wand. It's almost like the Jigabyte, so you can really get in there at the root. And then I turn as I go through, something that I noticed Andrea Ali does. That makes sense, you know, if you're trying to deposit your mascara. If you go straight through, <laughs> most of the mascara is still on the wand. Oh, I forgot to use the eyelash curler. Oh, they sent me an eyelash curler too, you guys. We'll try after the mascara dries down. So this eye look is actually kind of turning out a little bit dramatic, and I haven't even done my tie line. But dramatic in an easy way, I think. I, I kind of do want to take care of the redness on my eyes, so I'm just going in with my Kosas powder and uh, Chikahara brush. tone it down a bit teens, but going back with a small brush, another small brush and the palette, and I'm going with this 
pinky color. And we're going to do a little inner corner highlight because I didn't get any concealer in there and I need some lightness. Very subtle. I think I'll just bring it up through here. Why not? That'll give you a really subtle reflection that will hopefully open everything up a little bit. And it does. And it does. I'm just going to powder the cheeks a little bit more because I am going to go in with the Bar Papa over the Bar Papa liquid. I don't want there to be any issues. Now, I don't want to go in with the Bar Papa they gave me because I have one already and I don't want to break into something new. But this is the Bar Papa. I hope you can see it. This won't open all the way. I think I dropped it. The CQ brush. So I'm just layering the same shade, although I'm sure there's a difference in the shades. That nice little cotton candy look. I am really liking this. It's almost feeling kind of draped. And whatever's left, I am going to bring up here because I do have so much pinkness around my eyes because I did do the bar pop up there. <laughs> Happy time. So let's do the eyelash curler. Usually I don't do curling after I put on mascara, but I'm gonna be gentle. I'm not going too hard. Oh, this fits the eye really nicely. And I'm just gonna pulse. And let go. It doesn't stick to this at all. It doesn't stick to this. Little gentle curl and no curl at all. I think the mascara is helping me out on the curls area though. Okay, I will try that another time without mascara on. But here we are so far. This is the complexion and the eyes. I'm really, really digging the eyes between that liner, the smoky eye liner, and I guess the mascara and the colors. It's a different, I'm getting a different shape than I usually do, and I'm here for it. So let's look at the lip products. So these are lip slicks, and I have four colors. I thought I had five, but maybe I have four. And I'm just going to swatch them, and you shall see. This is why live swatches on the lips are so important, because this is not reading. Like I thought I'm, it might. I feel like this is a very pale pinky peach, but it's workable. So this is ritzy and ritzy. Ritzy. And these are twist ups, and you can't go back down, so you better be smart about it. I played with these a little bit last night, and I found that they are buildable and they have an unusual texture in that at first it's like, ooh, what's going on here? And 30 seconds later, it kind of melts into the lips and evens itself out, like it's a self leveling kind of product. This is pom-pom and it's a cool pink pom-pom which really works with the look I have going on here but it might be too much we have some other options when I tried this on last night I thought this color hmm, is a little problematic I'm 60 and I remember when women wore colors like this in the 60s when I was a child but still I have a memory of it and so to me, this kind of color is not current, but it is current if it's on a younger face, but I think it kind of works. All right, this is heaven. Heaven, heaven, it has a Y in it, just like Kevin, which I think I read an article about Kevin Aquan where he said he, he added the Y just to be different. And I don't think he pronounced his name when he was growing up. It wasn't a quan. It actually was a coin. Something like that. This is the perfect everyday color. Do you know what I mean? When you don't know what color you want to wear, you don't know what's going on on your face, you want it to be about everything but the lips, this is the color to go to. I, I think this is a fantastic neutral. It's not too cool, and it's not too warm. Sometimes it looks like it's a little bit of a rosewood, but it doesn't have too much blue in it. And yet it works with this very blue look that I have going on here. So that's heaven, and I think that would suit a lot of people. 
let's continue on. This is Rubus, which I don't know, might mean ruby, but to me this is kind of a cherry color. And I just did a light layer because I have a feeling it might possibly stain. Rubus. It did stain a little. So this is the brush that I blended out the foundation with just to kind of take that redness off. This for me has a very workable nude and nudes are super, super hard for me. And this is called Nude de Soleil. Looks like that. Here it is on my hand under the highlighter. And here it is on the lips. Let me just blot the lips, take off that foundation, and go in again. So I just kind of work that foundation in and blot it just a teeny bit so my natural skin tone will come through as opposed to that ruby's color. And I think this looks a little bit more wearable. I know the difference is subtle. But sometimes I find, for me, it's the very subtle change that makes all the difference in the world. And this is my final look. I do feel like I want a powder again. I'm going to go in with my Coke and Dough Natural Lighting Powder. It might be a little bit more mattifying. It is. So that helps me quite a bit. I think the sunscreen's a little too much for this, but look at these cheeks. Do you see how you can't really tell where the color starts and where it ends? There's something so special about the formula, both actually the liquid and the powder. And this is my cool look. It's not a cool girl look, but it's a cool look from Surat. I'm really kind of digging what's going on with my eyes here. This is so different for me. It did transfer a little bit even though I powdered it, but for me that's not a problem because that's exactly where my socket would be if I have one. Actually, that's really kind of... <laughs> it's really helped kind of give me a bit of a socket line. Okay, I'm, I'm pleased to sponge you guys. And I want to thank uh, Surat Beauty for sending me all these amazing products. I can't wait to dig in with the, oh, I don't know, the eyelash curler on my lashes before I put on mascara and the primer and the other colors. But I think for me, the standout, because I've tried many of these things before, is this highlighter. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. And the formula, there's something uh, quite amazing about it. And that smoky eye wand. That is very different than anything I have. It's a little bit um, chunky as opposed to sharpened to a tip, and I think that's the way it's supposed to be. In fact, it kind of reminds me when I was in high school. I used to take an art class, as I guess all of us did, and I worked with charcoals. That's kind of what it reminds me. It's not about precision, it's about blend. That's what I think is going on with that one. And these lip colors, for me, this is a nude lip I can get next to. I'm super happy with the color Kevin, which I think is everyday color. And then this color, which is Nude de Soleil, it's a nude I can do. So those two colors are really, really exciting to me. But let me know what is impressing you with what you've seen me put on today. Do keep in mind, I'm a little red today. <laughs> it's a little warm today and I can feel that flushness coming up. But I still feel that I got a super youthful, healthy look going on here. And I'm pleased as punch with everything. Honestly. All right. That's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health.